All right, so I called the Black Ops 6 the replacer returns. We got about three of these uh, replacer videos uh, coming through. Probably like I'm probably gonna like uh, spread them out in like the same hour. Um, let's go to the video. Let's go. Hi, baby. Now I seen a thumbnail. I'm back. <laughs> Who, where is this guy See, from? I am the replacer. I replace you. So you can play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Okay. Dad. I'm your daddy now. Mm. <laughs> Hello, daddy. I like that. <laughs> oh, kids, cover your ears. You did this to yourself. Sir, can you please just unlock the doors? Just give me five stars. Now get the hell out of my car. Blessings. Yo, this dude's a menace. Kiss your own baby lady. Bim, 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 bless. Call of Duty. Black Ops is back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the replacer. Um, okay, now, it, okay. <laughs> okay, so essentially this guy is basically like, obviously it's like, a, it's a Call of Duty Black Ops 6, like hype trailer or whatever. Um, and, and so basically he replaces you while you play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It, it, you know, again, it's a hype trailer. I'm not really gonna take this seriously, obviously. But um, first of all, hey, yo, this girl is wild. She said, "Oh yeah, I like that, daddy." First of all, hey, to all the kids at the table, bro, close your ears and bro, put on some Beats by Dre headphones whenever it's like two to three a.m., bro. Listen, because the way she said his name, the way she called him daddy and stuff, bro, it's gonna be a very long night. Um, to all the kids right now that's watching this, if you don't know what that means. Uh, just ignore the last 20 seconds of what I said. Um, other than that, we got the replacer. I've seen like this. Um, I, I don't know if this guy's like an actor or whatever. I've seen this, this guy's face before. Uh, that hairline is absolutely brazy. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so we got the <laughs> so we got the replacer right here. Um, you know, I find it kind of funny because I would say like over like the last like two years, you know, Call of Duty they've been like trying to. Um, like, obviously, they've been dropping trailers for, like, their new game and stuff like that, which is obvious, you know, like, that's, like, every single game. But, like, the thing is with Call of Duty that I kind of like is they're kind of taking, like, a different, like, marketing, like, marketing strategy. Obviously, you know, if you want to uh, increase your, you know, sales for, like, for a game, you know, you make different ads, you make different uh, trailers, and stuff, and trailers and stuff like that, you know, to hype up your game. But to be honest with you, I kind of like how Call of Duty is doing it because, like, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2... Uh, two years ago, they had Tim the Tapman come through and all these different NBA players and stuff like that. NBA players, NFL players. They had, like, different YouTubers and stuff, uh, like, make ads and stuff like that, uh, you know, for the game. And I kind of like that because now you're involving uh, a lot of – you're involving, like, you're kind of reaching into different bags and, like, reaching, in, reaching into, like, different areas of, like, entertainment and sports and stuff like that, which is technically entertainment if you really think about it. Um, and so, you're, like, you're reaching into all these, like, you know – I brought where they put Messi in the game. They put um, uh, like a lot of these like iconic, you know, scary game like you know characters in the game. Again, they put YouTubers in the game like Nick Merckx, uh, Tina Tapman, and stuff like that. So I've always vibed that, and it's not even just Call of Duty. Like you know, Fortnite do it as well. Like how they reach the different forms of like uh, entertainment, such as music, uh, movies. Uh, they put YouTubers in the game as well. I, I like that, you know, because it um, I like that for two reasons. Because you know, it's better for them marketing wise because. You're bringing in like new eyeballs, and you know it's it, you know you're you're reaching into like different audiences. Another thing is it kind of like gives inspiration to a lot of the a lot of the kids that that are coming up, you know, that want to be content creators and that want to be NFL players and stuff like that, you know, who who have dreams of like you know being in the video game or who have dreams of you know uh, playing Fortnite uh, as like a content creator, whatever. They can actually like dream themselves like you know actually be in the game, you know, if that's what they actually want to do in their life. So. If I'm being honest with you, I, I kind of see this as like a win, like a win-win for everybody. So um, I do like how different games bring in different, you know, entertainment uh, platforms, and they bring in different athletes and stuff like that, actors or whatever. Um, other than that, I have like two more of these replacement videos. Make sure you guys like the subscribe channel. Stay tuned for uh, two more of these videos. I got more until dawn, and um, I have some Silent Hill, probably like one or two videos of Silent Hill, because uh, we all know Silent Hill comes out on the eighth, which is in what two more days. So. Really excited about this. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, see you guys next time out.